So with two massive 1,000 events coming up over the next couple of weeks on the WTA, Dubai and Doha both upgraded to 1,000 status. Of course, last year, it was 1,000 for one of them and 500 for the other, and they'd alternate between the two. But this time around, in 2024, we have two major events back-to-back, -back, starting with Doha next week, but we have some big names that are not going to be playing, and others that are sort of with an injury cloud. Let's go have a look at who is actually not going to play and who is under an injury cloud. So we have three top 10 players pulling out of this event, starting with Jessica Bagula, who is also pulled out of Dubai, so she won't be playing until potentially Indian Wells in a couple weeks' time. So pair that with splitting with her coach. She's got a lot going on at the moment. Carolina Mukova also pulled out of this event, we haven't seen her since the end of last season. And of course, she didn't play the WTA Finals, didn't play the Australian Open because of the wrist injury that she's had for such a long time now. And again, she misses out on another big event. And Arena Sabalenka, she is not going to be playing this event. It was going to be the first event since the Australian Open that she'd participate in, but she's not going to be playing this event either. But she will be playing in Dubai in a week's time. Some of the players that are under an injury cloud going into this event, Alina Svetolina, retiring from the Australian Open in the fourth round a few weeks ago, will be coming to this event as well. So definitely worth keeping an eye on her physically because of that retirement that she had in Australia. But Osa, another player that has been away with injury for the best part of a year, pulled out of her second round match last week in Thailand due to injury. So again, got to keep her on the watch as well for injuries going into next week. And also Von Drusova, someone to watch out for next week who's supposed to be playing, pulled out of Linz last week due to injury. So another top 10 player that we're going to keep an eye on next week into the biggest tournament since the Australian Open. So there you have it, some massive names that have been pulled out of this event. Of course, Pagula being the big one with some serious injuries. And Sabalenka probably just doesn't want to play because of course she won the Australian Open. She wants a couple of extra days off or a couple of weeks off, I should say. But she'll be back in Dubai next week. But there are some players there that have retired over the last couple of weeks or have withdrawn from events over the last couple of weeks and months that we've got to keep an eye on as well. But of course, plenty of players are playing next week. Goff's coming back for the first time since Australia. Shviontek will be playing as well. Rebecca as well will be playing, so the big three there are going to be involved. Let me know down in the comments below. Who's your early prediction to win this tournament in Doha? Because of course, it's been upgraded to a permanent 1000 event, as has Dubai, whereas it used to be alternate. We used to alternate every year, and it used to be a little confusing. So now it's a little bit less confusing for all of us. Pick down below. But unfortunately, we are not going to be seeing the Australian Open champion or Super Gula pulling out of this event.